What's up guys, this is my 150 gallon American cyclic tank with an arowana and in case you're new here or maybe you guys forgot about seven or eight months ago I set this tank up and put fish in there on day one. So I want to update you guys on how everybody's doing. First, if you're not familiar with this series and the journey that this tank has taken, then check out this playlist right here. It's gonna get you up to speed real quick. Now technically, the fish added on day one are these silver dollars right here. They're doing great and looking like they'll end up being some monsters, which is awesome. They were the very first guys added on day one because I got them locally from my local fish store while I waited for everyone else to be shipped to me. About a week later, I got the first full inhabitants to the 150 and then sprinkled in a few more here and there. I haven't lost any fish since the previous update except for my two red shoulder severums. Unfortunately, they just stopped eating and both died within days of each other. Even though I really do like those red shoulder severums, I plan to get more of them, but I'm waiting for them to become available at a much bigger size and then try to add them back in here again. Let me show you how everyone else is doing in the tank. We'll start from the smallest still to the largest, and I'll show you some photos of what everyone's gonna look like when they reach adult size. One of the smallest guys in the tank, but one of the most popular is my man Eddie, the electric blue Jack Dempsey. He has put on some size since I first got him, but he's definitely taking his time. Still looking like a stud since the first day I added him. He's always out and about, swimming freely, not afraid of anybody, and doesn't bother anybody either. So far, an awesome personality. I love my guy, Eddie. Next are these pair of Geophagus Sevenis. These guys seem to stay the same size. Super slow growth, but I am beginning to see some color show up on them, and I can tell they're gonna look great as they mature. As adults, they're gonna have a beautiful shape and color. I have another pair of Geos. These are redhead Tapahos, and they have had decent growth. Their fins are looking amazing, and I'm just waiting for the nice shade of red to show up on their head. Hence the name Redhead. These type of hoes look amazing as adult size. Check it out. By the way, make sure you guys let me know which ones are your favorite, and I'll be sure to highlight them more often in the IG posts or in the stories. That way you guys can see them more often. Staying in the same size range, next up are my pair of Threadfin Akaras. One has outgrown the other. Possible one is male and one is female, not sure. But the bigger one is growing very fast, especially those long, beautiful fins. Next up is my three red spotted Severums and their color is just amazing already. I can't believe how beautiful and bright their colors are. If you guys remember, these guys are named Locket, Renegade, and Popcorn. I can't tell you which one is which though. Good luck trying. We're getting into the big boys now, but before we do, a quick reminder to smash that like button. Each time that you press the like button, my guys grow a little bit more. Them and I, we thank you in advance. First big boys are my green terrors. I do have two of them, but one is definitely a male and the other is female. The female is growing, but at a much slower pace than the male. The male, his name is Hulk, you know, cause he's green and big. <laughs> Hulk is definitely bigger and has grown his green terror hump. His fins are also growing beautifully. Now, many ask how aggressive my green terrors are, and I can say the female is a non-issue. But Hulk here, he has a great big beef with my electric blue Akaras. They are constantly fighting over territory, but nothing too aggressive, nothing that gets out of hand. Recently, I have noticed that Hulk's growth has began to slow down. So I'm seriously keeping a good eye on him to make sure that he's still eating his food because I don't want any internal parasite issue to happen in this tank either but I'm keeping a close eye on it just in case. Speaking of the devil, my next big boys are my electric blue Akaras. I did start out with three in this tank, but lost one to swim bladder early on. These two are definitely a mated pair, as they've had fry about four or five times now, I even lost count. But they are looking amazing and growing at an awesome pace. Both of these are gonna be very big as adults. On to the biggest cichlids I have in here are my Oscars. For those of you that remember, I did have a red Oscar in here, but he had to be rehomed because he was getting very aggressive and attacking my arowana. That was a big no-no. 
So my local fish store got a free fish from me. My albino Oscar is a monster already. I got him at one to two inches, six or seven months ago, and he's just a beast. He eats everything, always active, a sweetheart though, does not chase anybody. The little guys are super comfortable around him. The best personality ever. I replaced my red Oscar with a tiny tiger Oscar. And as you can see, he's nearly caught up with the albino. He's not tiny anymore. Believe everyone when they tell you that Oscars grow really fast and need a lot of space because they do and they do. Now I do have some non-cichlids in here. I have five clown loaches that are doing great. Clown loaches are notorious slow growers, but be careful because they do eventually get huge and we'll also need a big tank. Then I have my two plecos, a super red and a bristle nose. These guys are great because they stay at a decent size and don't overgrow. The super red might get really big, but the bristle nose won't. And then of course, last but not least, is my man Flaco Dos, the Arowana. He's doing amazing. He's growing almost at the same speed as the Oscars. Tremendous growth since I've gotten him. This Arowana has such a great personality. When he wants to be left alone, he'll hang out in his corner up here. And when he wants to be social, he'll just come out and swim with everybody. Doesn't attack anyone, doesn't chase anyone. A couple of these guys can easily be a snack for him, but he doesn't even give them a second look. For those of you that don't know the story, I lost my first Arowana Flaco to an open tank cover that I left open by mistake and he ended up jumping out and nobody was home all day long. Long story short, I learned from that mistake and I make sure that I always am diligent about keeping the tank covers closed. Flaco Dos here is his predecessor and I'm trying to keep him alive for the long run. Not only that, but Flaco Dos here is already getting big enough where when he thinks he sees a little bit of food up on top of the tank, he'll pop that top open. So very soon, I'm going to be adding some weights to the top of the tank and make sure that he doesn't find a way out. So that's everybody in the 150 tank, guys. You can see everybody's doing good. Everybody's still growing. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you watch one of these other videos that YouTube and I think you'll enjoy as well. Whichever one you decide on, I'll see you guys on the other side.